in life, in business, there is always an element of risk, but many people don't like to take the risk because of fear of failure and fear of looking stupid. But nonetheless, that fear is there. I've come across that fear so many times, but as you would know, entrepreneurs, doing your thing, you have to do it from a place of courage, which doesn't mean you don't have any fear or fear of the risk itself, but you do it anyways. So this is how I see it now from a, a very principled perspective. People always know what they're running away from. And if you have a business, your marketing material should be focused on people's problems because that's what people know like the back of their hand they know their problems i don't want to look like this i don't want to be broke i don't want to have this color hair i want that color. like people know what they don't want and many people have started amazing businesses off the back of not wanting to be broke alex omozi who is doing absolute bits right about now who says one of his main drives was that he just never wanted to be broke again so it wasn't that he wanted to become a billionaire but his initial drive was that he didn't want to be broke and it was a major motivation not being broke pushed him to to take certain actions to get to where he is today and i'm sure he has different motivations now but the initial motivation to do things even if they were risky was the fact that he didn't want to be broke so there's that balance between risk and rewards pain and pleasure what we're running away from and what we're running towards and one of the challenges we all face when starting anything is that we don't have enough motivation that's pushing us away from what we don't want and this is especially true if you are quote unquote comfortable so you're not exactly in major pain but at the same time you have bigger dreams and aspirations of doing things but but you're comfortable you don't want to rock the boat you don't want to take the risk i look at myself and you know i'm like i took certain risks if i didn't take it i wouldn't be where i am today fair enough i'm not on the house on the hill right about now but i am way better than where i was before because i don't know what the other road would have taken me I am where I am now based on the decisions and the risks that I had taken. And I like to see things from like the end. So let's say like you're 90, you're 95 and you look back at life. Would you rather say I played it safe and, you know, have your kids looking at you and be like, yeah, daddy played it safe, mommy played it safe. Or would you rather say I took the leap of faith and I just went for it because for me that is what life is all about is all about taking the risk and going for it now they are certain risks that people just don't want to take and you know i'm not telling anybody to do anything but it's up to you to calculate is the risk worth it like if i had a thousand pounds right now and i spent it the worst that can happen is that it goes to zero because i spent it but if i invested it in something well then the rewards is infinite because a thousand can only go down to zero but a thousand can go up to a hundred thousand two hundred thousand a million 10 million a billion it's infinite but you have to come to terms am i willing to take the risk to invest in something that will give me a bigger return and am i willing to be okay with it if it doesn't happen as long as i learn something because i'm going to take another risk and i'm going to be better at it knowing what you're running away from or what you are running towards and many people are running away from something but is that something scary enough to force you into taking action do not wait until you are at a point of desperation when you could have taken action earlier out of inspiration so my end note is this inspiration is amazing motivation is amazing but they do not last forever so when you feel motivated or you feel inspired, take action because by the time you go to sleep and wake up, both of those motivation and inspiration will likely have faded 
away and you will be right back to where you were before. So take the action you need to take in order to go to where you need to go. Measure the risk and do it anyway. Hopefully this video was helpful to somebody. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you think I was chatting out my, uh, my rear end, then please do let me know. Uh, feel free to subscribe and follow and share it with a friend who may find this useful. Thank you.